Hey guys, so real quick before we get into the video, I want to show you guys an update that Alex has recently done. So as you guys know, this server is a 718 pre-EOC server, and a lot of people normally don't like that. But as you can see by my game frame, he's made a lot of changes to make it OSRS friendly, and another one he's recently done is, as you can see, if I spawn a Barrows Brother, it is the one from 2012. Now, if you don't prefer this, what you can actually do is go to your graphics, go to game settings, and click OSRS a boss's appearance. Doing this, as you can see, will turn your boss NPCs into the OSRS version. And if you don't like these HP bars, you can change those as well. You can switch your game frame however you want, whenever you want. He's just adding so much customization and quality of life updates. I just thought I'd show you guys real quick. We can also go take a look at God Wars real quick. As you can see, here is how Armadale looks. But yeah, anyways, let's get into the video. Hey guys, just before I get into the video, I've got some giveaway info for you, of course. So the first player to join using my referral code by typing colon colon ref wizard in the chat like that will receive a sapphire donator ticket. This will grant you a permanent sapphire donator rank. But aside from that, we're going to have two winners on today's video, each of you getting 10,000 donator shards. So that's $50 to two winners, $100 in total. All you guys have to do to enter is comment your in-game name down below, leave a like on this video, and be subscribed to my channel. Once again, don't forget to use my referral code wizard for a free super mystery box when you log in. Anyways, good luck and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of the Hardcore Iron Man on Onyx RSPS. It's currently the weekend and it is double XP, so I really want to take advantage of it and get some of my skills up. I have a few potions saved up, some unfinished ones. I need to go collect some snape grass though, and by the way, these placeholders are actually getting fixed, the color of them. Just a quick note. But uh, I made 50 unfinished Raynar pots and 39 irrits. Guess I'll go ahead and start with some super attack pots. Currently getting 1.1k per pot, which is not bad at all. Alright, that's all the pots I have at the moment. Got 56 herb from him, so gonna have to wait for more to grow. Okay, while I wait for more herbs to grow, I'm gonna go train up my range and do some Slayer. But first, I wanna do my spins real quick and try to get some auras. Because we're still trying to get enough aura tokens for the greater sharpshooter aura. So even if we get really shit ones, I don't really mind because we can trade them in. We got very unlucky. We got three. I guess that's not the worst. As you guys don't know, there's these really cool auras on here that you can wear that have these like little wings behind you. And then there's ones with different sizes and different colors. They don't give you like any stats or anything, but these were on actual RuneScape back in 2012. I don't know. They were a really cool addition in my opinion, but yeah, we're going to sell these. All right. So tracker, tracker and harmony. That's an extra 3k tokens. In total, we have 8.6k. And for a greater sharpshooter, we need 16,750, so we're kind of far away. Alright, time to get back to Slayer. Okay, I'm definitely wasting bolt racks here, so I really need to go get an MSB. First task done. So apparently a couple good tips are, one, you can train fletching and dungeoneering, which is actually really smart. So I might actually go do that instead of using this U short bow for Slayer. That is another task done. Five more and we'll have the task complete. I don't even know what this task is for, honestly. I think, oh, okay, here it is. There's a whole list of tasks here to do. It's basically achievements. All right, I don't know where the last clip was, but uh, I want to start making some recoils so we can get ready to do some Zora. And I am currently one mining, one smithing, and 31 crafting. So we're definitely going to need to start doing some training. So I guess it's time to start mining. Always do your skilling at Donator Zone if you're a donator because you get 3% bonus XP. Alright, that is 41 mining, 41 smithing. Time to get some gold bars. Alright, gathered 52 gold bars. I think 52 recoils will be enough for a little bit. Now we need to gather the sapphires. So I guess the way we're getting our gems is through gem rocks. I'm basically just dropping all of the opals, jades, and topaz. And saving everything else. It's pretty decent mining XP as well on the early levels. Okay, so gem rocks are absolute aids. So I'm going to go ahead and settle with about 30 rings for now. That should be okay for a bit. But I went ahead and messaged the owner and told him to add alternative gem methods, such as the tokel shop and wall safe cracking. So hopefully we'll see those updates in the near future. Because right now, it is currently not fun to go get gems. Now, before we go and do Zora, I am going to need better food, because currently we're rocking lobsters and potatoes with cheese. I mean, I could cook up some fucking sweet corn and go to Zora if you'd like, but... I think I'll pass on that one. So with that, it's time to do more skilling. This is peak gaming. Another easy task done, 75 shrimp, 62 fishing, now we can get some monkfish. All right, I went and caught about 250 monkfish and we burnt just about half of them, so that's always good. But I guess I'm gonna attempt Zora kill. I'm kind of scared, but fuck it, dude. 
but I need a couple super restores real quick. So there we go, 63 herb. Gonna go grab some spider eggs and make some restores. Okay, we got our restores. Two brews, one overload. I think we're good to go. This is gonna be risky, but uh, fuck it. I'm down to try, man. I'm gonna overload and then use this pool and hopefully it doesn't reduce my stats. All right, let's try this. All right, we're good to go. And good luck, boys. I brought both combat styles just in case you can't only range, but I'm going to try only range first because if I don't need to mage this, then that's going to make it quite easy. Also, I have the vampirism aura just so we get a little bit of healing and it doesn't seem like I'm hitting too hard, so I'm going to try mage. Okay, yeah, I'm actually kind of shitting on it. I'm not really hitting too hard in terms of uh, big numbers, but I'm hitting quite accurately. I uh, don't know if I can range it from here. Oh, I actually can. All right, I think that is our first Zolra kill, boys. Uh, we get 10 battle staffs, some teleports, really nothing special at all. That took 242. I think that's pretty close to how long it would take on RS, honestly, with this kind of gear. I guess this time I'm going to attempt to only use range. Okay, I'm taking a lot of damage this kill. I don't think camping a Kabo is the way to go. Maybe if I had better gear or like a higher range level would be fine, but uh, I'm kind of struggling. All right, it's Jad phase, so this should be pretty easy. We made it with no food, boys. Second kill. Oh, fuck. Oh, that scared the shit out of me. I need to shut the fuck up sometimes when I'm doing a kill. Okay, so before we go back to Zora, I actually need to train my prayer again because he actually made it so you don't need to do anything to get rigor and augury unlocked. You just need the level, which I personally find kind of weird. I told him it should have some sort of requirement or unlock. But it doesn't for now, so we're going to take advantage of it and train our prayer up to about 77. So I'll gather a bunch of bones and get back to you guys. Hey, we just got a looting bag. Don't mind me just risking my account again doing some prayer. I am uh, ready to log out though. But yeah, let's see what level these bones get us to. 70 prayer. All right, it's the last of the bones. We got 72. I'm probably going to go get another trip of them from greens and we should be 77. Oh no. Oh, there were two people in that altar. I guess that's where I take a break. All right, here we go again. That's 74. So we can use Vigor now, and I guess that's fine. Should help me out quite a bit at Zora. Okay, this is very greedy. Whew. Yeah, I think I need to take a break from Zora. I don't have enough gear. Decided I'd do some barrows. Chest number one, nothing. Chest number two, Chest three, come on, man. Chest four, come on. That is 30 barrows, KC, with only one drop. I'm kind of uh, a little bit tilted, to be honest. I feel like on every other private server in existence, I've been more lucky than this. But we do have 5 mil barrows tokens, which means we can buy a top, I believe, in this shop. Yeah, we can buy any top, but I don't want to buy any piece until we get another one first. Because if I spend all my tokens on a top, and then get a top the next chest, I'll have to sell one for half the price. And I don't really want to do that, so I'm going to wait until I get some legs first, whether it be Carol's skirt, Varak's skirt, Torag's legs, whatever. Then I will buy the K-Top, or vice versa. So let's keep grinding until we get a piece. What the fuck? We got an Akrase robe top. If you guys don't know, Akrase is actually a 7th Barrow's brother that they added back in like 2012. Here's what the top looks like. It's got a little like prayer ting in the middle. It's kind of like budget arams here are the stats on it it actually gives plus 20 mage a decent amount of defense okay it's quite a huge upgrade from a mystic top so i mean i guess i'll take it oh okay so i looked it up it gives 10 less magic accuracy but gives eight prayer bonus which is honestly not that bad of a trade-off so i guess i'll use it for now or until we get an arams piece but i still need some tank legs so i'm heading back all right, so if I want to sell my Akrase rope top, I'm going to get 2.5 mil tokens for it. And to buy Carol's top with a Varax skirt, we're going to need 9 mil tokens. So I need to get 6.5 mil tokens, and then I can sell the top and then be able to buy both. So I guess I just need to do one more run. All right, last kill for the trip, boys. Do we get anything? Of course not. 
Now we're gonna fix our top and then sell it to the Mr. Strange Old Man here. Buy Carol's top and Virac's skirt. And we are fucking ballin'. He just needs to fix this Carol's crossbow stance. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is get my obsidian legs. I know we have a Virax skirt, but the obsidian legs actually give strength bonus, whereas Virax is mostly just defense and prayer. To get the legs, we're going to need a 100k toko, which really should not take that long, so I'm gonna head over to the Tazar area and get started. Alright, that might have been the last kill. All the toko gets sent to my bank, so I'm not too sure. Let's see, there we go, 108k. Okay, went a little over. Well, let's see, the obsidian legs, we check the stats here. Okay, wait, that was not worth it at all. The only thing it gives me is plus one strength over my skirt. All right, so my skirt gives me like plus 80 in all defense and four prayer. And the legs give me basically half the defense bonus, but I get one strength bonus. I don't really know if that's worth it, to be honest. Okay, to be honest, I don't even think that was worth it. Fuck me. Got another vote to claim. Let's see if we can get some more auras. Greater five finger discount. Greater Lumberjack. Oh, wait, these are actually good skilling ones. And some of these rewards, like one Lava Bone. Why doesn't it give you like 10 or something? One Frost. Okay, I'll just go fuck myself. But we got some pretty damn good auras. This one increases my thieving chance by 5%. This one increases my woodcutting by 5%. So they actually both have decent uses.